Praise the Lord. And, and you and I, praise God, we as children of God, we need to be the light of the world. We need to get our mind off of going back, backsliding, but we need to get our mind focused on Jesus. He said he would bring the high places down, the low places up, make the rough place smooth, make the crooked way straight, and he'd make a highway of holiness. And you can get on that highway of holiness tonight and you walk on, on it. You've got to get out from under the traditions and doctrines of men, of men that have been preached down through the years, praise the Lord. And you got to take and, and know your citizenship and who you are in Christ. And praise God, know that you can do all things through Christ Jesus with strength. And, and praise the Lord, last night at 651 on Route 60, turning the cross to go over to bypass to Route 2. I'm sitting in my truck at the light just to meditate. And, and, and I love it when the Lord just puts things in your spirit. Thank God you don't have to be in church to be in the presence of God. Thank God he said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Uh, people say, well, we leave our religion outside the door. Or we'll not take it with us on the job. But uh, it's not our religion. It's our salvation. And we better not never lay salvation down. We better keep it with us wherever we go. Praise the Lord. But the Lord laid a thought in my mind. Boy, it's good to me. This arm that I throwed the thing out, it's been giving me a time. And I couldn't raise it up with a bottle or anything hardly in my hand and, and take a drink. Not always favorite. Well, last night when he put this salt in my hand, he also took care of this. And see here, praise the Lord for what it is. Glory to God. When you really believe, this is what he said uh, the, in my spirit. Now, people say, well, you, you know, they get a, when you say God said something, they get offended or whatever. But uh, he got it in my spirit. When you're walking in fellowship and you're in fellowship with the Lord, glory to God, you can hear hey, in your spirit what he's saying. And what he's saying is, if you can have the faith to believe that it's me and my blood and nothing you do, amen, praise God, that you can't be good enough, you can't do good enough, but when you can believe that it's my blood, that it's by my grace you're saved, amen, praise God, I'm going to tell you what, that, that, that sickness and all this other stuff, glory to God, it's just like a drop in the bucket. You won't have a problem, amen, with walking in health, walking in victory. When If you can believe that, bless God, one day, when you breathe your last breath, glory to God, He's going to take you, amen, into the angel, into the kingdom, into the paradise, glory to God, that you're going to be able to live and reign with Him. I'm going to tell you, people have, they say that we say we believe, but bless God, I'm going to tell you what, that's the ones that's going to heaven. They that believe, praise the Lord, and glory to God, when we're believing or baptized, amen, yet we be, need to be buried in the water in the liquid grave, but bless God, I'm going to tell you what tonight, we need to be baptized in the Spirit. Uh, praise God, I told I told a person today, bless God, churches, they'll talk about Jesus, and they'll talk about God, uh, but they don't want to talk about the Holy Ghost. Uh, but bless God, they do not understand. Uh, uh, but in way most people believe, uh, uh, bless the name of the Lord, they're leaving one part out. Uh, uh, that you can't separate and you can't do without it all. Praise the Lord. I, I'm glad. And I'm not, I told man, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto them that believe. Praise the Lord. And it don't matter to me what man says. I, I've got a relationship. I fell in love with Jesus I, about 30 years ago. I, and praise the Lord, it gets better and better. I, and I've always been in His grace. I, I, well, you never made a mistake. Sure, I have. I, I've had to repent and repent deep and repent hard. I, I, but I never got out of His grace. I, I, somebody might look and say, yeah, look at you. I, I, but thank God if I'd have got out of His grace, I, if His grace had have been there. I don't know where I'd have been. But His grace never has left me in 30 some years. Glory to God. And His grace never will leave me. I know people talk about me. They think I uh, say they, they got. I'll tell you what. People's got corrupt minds. When you say once in grace, always in grace, they think well I can go sin and I'm still in grace. I told a man today, praise the Lord, uh, if any man be in Christ Jesus, he's a new creature. All things are passed away, behold, all things are made new. If you haven't got the Spirit of God dwelling in you, uh, and it's a supernatural thing, uh, and if you don't know that His Spirit dwells in you, uh, I'm going to tell you what, you're lost. Uh, uh, you're lost and you can't see. Uh, uh, praise the Lord, people need to wake up, uh, uh, because glory to God, they's coming today, uh, and the truth is going to be revealed. Uh, uh, praise God, when you depend on Him, uh, uh, when he says you can do all things through Christ Jesus, uh, uh, which strengthens me, uh, uh, you're not doing anything through your power, uh, uh, but it's the power that worketh 
in us. Uh, uh, the Bible says, work out your own salvation uh, uh, with fear and trembling before the Lord. Uh, uh, for it is the Lord that's working in you to do uh, of his good pleasure. We can't shut it up and hold it up. Uh, uh, we got to let him work in us. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. I'm excited. I'm, I, I'm excited from morning to night. When I wake up in the night, I'm excited. Praise the Lord because he lives and dwells inside of us. He's not a God that's afar off, but he's a God that's not at hand that can be touched with the feeling of our infirmities. And people see you. And that Bible that they're reading of you is the faith that you have in the Lord our Savior. It's not how dressed up I can get. It's not how pretty I can get. But bless God, it's how much the grace of God is moving on me. Praise the Lord. We've got of love because God is love uh, and he that liveth, loveth is of God uh, and I ask people why uh, do you start running your race uh, uh, in the beginning and you run uh, uh, like you're on far but then as you get closer to the end uh, uh, your life starts getting older uh, uh, people start slacking down drawing back uh, uh, in the need and the time uh, uh, that we ought to be a kicking up uh, amen we ought to be a pouring it on uh, uh, why because uh, uh, brother to him that endureth to the end uh, uh, the same shall be saved. Uh, uh, Peter said, add your faith virtue. Uh, uh, to virtue, knowledge, knowledge, tempers, tempers, patience. Uh, and to patience, godliness, and to godliness, brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, charity. Uh, he said, if these things be in you abound, thank God, I'm glad I know I got them in me. Uh, uh, because that's what's making me. Uh, amen. That's what's making me. Uh, uh, glory to God to not be unfruitful in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. You got to give it to Meditate in the law of the Lord. Man, when he, when they, he put that in my spirit yesterday, thank God I noticed this here went, oh, just immediately. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. I'm going to tell you tonight, uh, uh, we think about too much other stuff. Uh, uh, praise the Lord. And we don't keep our mind uh, upon the Lord, praise God, and upon his uh, uh, law. He said, blessed is the man happy uh, uh, the walking not in the counsel of the ungodly. Uh, uh, you know what ungodly counsel is? Uh, any counsel that don't line up with this right here. Uh, uh, that's the only godly counsel there is. Uh, and brother, when somebody tells me uh, uh, that i got to be sick to die, uh, uh, you ain't read deep enough in the book. Uh, uh, praise God, people need to get off of the surface uh, and quit skating along the top of the edges. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, uh, Peter was walking on the water. Uh, but when he began to sink, uh, he began to holler, cried out. Uh, I said, Jesus, save me or I perish. Uh, uh, thank God we need to get down in to it. Uh, get deep into it. Uh, we might have to say, Jesus, uh, uh, save me. Uh, save me, glory to God. You give something uh, in my spirit to preach. Uh, uh, you can't hold back. Uh, even if people sit and snare. Uh, uh, glory to God, people can sit around uh, and say, well, you can backslide. Uh, uh, well, you can do this. Uh, uh, well, you can do that. I know where their mind's at. Uh, if you got the spirit of God in you, uh, uh, bless the name of the Lord. I'm going to tell you what. Can't do it. Not if you love Jesus. Praise the Lord. I run out of my season of pleasure. Run out. Pleasure in season for a season, it run out. Boy, I needed something. I needed something. When I was 30 some years old, praise the Lord. Yeah, the bad thoughts come to my mind. Sure do. Every now and then he'll try to he'll try to put them on there and see what I'm gonna do with them. Praise the Lord, but you've got to stand and rebuke the devil. In the name of Jesus, praise God, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I tell you, we ought to be happy. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> People talk about the valleys. Bless God, I'm happy in the valleys. You know why? Sometimes test, sometimes trial. <laughs> Uh, glory to God, see what I'll do. Uh, but guess what? People don't need, uh, uh, people don't read the Word of God. Uh, uh, they don't know what uh, benefits they have. Uh, amen. They just stand and say, well, if God don't do it, uh, if God don't do it, uh, God done it through His Word. Uh, he sent His Word to this earth. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord to be a propitiation for our sin. Uh, and we got to have the Word in us uh, uh, to make it work. Uh, we got to study to show ourselves approved unto God, uh, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, uh, uh, rightly, not only, but rightly dividing uh, uh, the word of truth. Uh, uh, amen. And when they don't want to nudge shoulders with you, uh, uh, when they don't want to be in your group, uh, hey, so be it. Uh, I'm going to walk with Jesus. Uh, amen. Because I know from which my help comes. Uh, I don't snarl down nobody. Uh, when opportunity comes, uh, I 
life. They've been putting the Word of God out. Amen. Praise the Lord. I tell you, you can startle people and you can silence people with the Word of God. You can't do it, but the Word of God can. Amen. Praise the Lord. That everybody's right in their own eyes. That God ponders the heart. That troubles me about a lot of people. They must not be getting trouble in their heart. And if their heart don't trouble them, that means they've got a hard heart. Amen. We've got to have a soft heart. Amen. To be able to feel the presence and the power of God. Amen. you got to make up your mind. He said, choose this day in whom you're going to serve. You know how you serve the Lord? <laughs> hey, I'll live and not die and declare the works of the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Paul said, I'm crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me in the life that I now live in the flesh. I live it by the faith of the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. <laughs> it's all about faith. <laughs> He said, without faith, it's impossible uh, to please God. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, now, King Asa in the Bible was an old king. He was a young king, but it was back in the old Bible. Uh, and he was diseased, uh, diseased in his feet. Uh, and you know what? He was a disease was great. Uh, and praise God, he died. Uh, and the Bible said he died because uh, he went to the physicians of the land uh, rather to God. Uh, uh, people said, why do Christian people die early? Uh, uh, because they're going to the wrong source. Uh, uh, do they go to hell? Uh, uh, no, not if they're trusting Jesus as their uh, uh, Savior. If they realize they've been a sinner uh, and need a Savior. Uh, uh, but I'm going to tell you what. They say, well, God took him. God picked him. Uh, uh, maybe he did. Uh, if they chose not to believe and trust in him. Uh, hey, praise the Lord. we got to lift up and exalt the name of Jesus. Uh, uh, the God that we serve. Uh, uh, praise the Lord. If he created us, uh, uh, we do what we should do uh, uh, to obtain our stature and what we need uh, to keep this the house of his uh, in its hell. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. I'll tell you what the devil's done. Uh, I'm going to just say it. Uh, uh, the devil's playing at McDonald's, uh, Hardee's, uh, and all these fast food, greasy things. Uh, and they're good. Uh, amen. They're easy to get indulged in. Uh, uh, but what did it make him do? Uh, it makes abused people. Uh, and I'm not talking about nobody. Uh, but bless God, God told us in the beginning what to eat. Uh, amen. He told us for a purpose. Uh, and I find that the more I get myself geared into that, uh, uh, do you ever fall? Yeah, I ate about two or three uh, good old donuts a while ago. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, but glory to God, I'm going to tell you what tonight. Uh, I am getting better. Uh, I'm getting better because this is his house. I, amen. Praise the Lord. I, I, people says in me I, ain't nothing. Well, I'm going to tell you, there's something inside of me. I, amen. Far greater than I am. I, he's greater than that's in the world. I, amen. I will like to testify and tell the goodness of my God. Amen. Come on, Do I have to walk in sickness? No, I don't. It wasn't intended for a man to walk in sickness. Amen. Not to love the Lord. He kept the evil diseases and all that. No feeble persons among his tribe among his people. And that people want to think about that. Amen. Who do we belong to? Who we put their confidence in? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I know people don't like that, but you know what? I had to grow to that too. But it didn't make me mad when somebody preached it. I thought, well, he's got something. I want to hear this. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So I went to a church down in uh, uh, North Carolina one time. Amen. And they'd preach about the healing. But they'd say, keep your glasses till God heals your eyes. Don't throw your medicine away. Keep taking it till God heals you. Amen. Praise God. I asked God. I said, how can that be? I don't see how anybody could discern that it was you. I'd have to give that medicine the credit to you. Amen. That will work. Uh, so praise the Lord. I'm going to tell you the facts about it. I was sitting in church one night, uh, and I listened to people that have heart attacks. So I know what they are. Guess what? It started on me. All the pain. All the pain. And you know what I did? I took the best advice. Rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Taste the Lord. See that he's good. Thank God too many people giving their body over. Amen. We can down the drug addict down on the street. <laughs> but we'll still go to the uh, drug store down there. <laughs> Amen. I know if people have to take medicine, my wife's on uh, sugar medicine, praise God. Amen. And people have to do it. But see, as for me, I made my choice. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. And you got to have the faith. <laughs> I don't want somebody to do what I say. <laughs> Amen. I want them to hear what I say. And then that be between you and God. Because I done told you, if you're saved, if you got his spirit in you, you're saved. And let him work with you like he likes to work with you. But do your best in whatever you do to glorify him. Praise the Lord. Amen. 
praise God. He took uh, uh, the fear out of death. There's no fear in death. I, a man told me today, he said, yeah, but something's got to take us out of here. I said, shut it up right now. I, I said, don't say another word about it. Uh, amen. When you breathe your last breath, uh, uh, they'll say heart attack got him. Uh, uh, but when you breathe your last breath, you're gone. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. The main thing uh, uh, is this is the only life we got to live. Uh, amen. To make it right. Uh, amen. And if we're trusting in Jesus, uh, uh, when we breathe that last breath, uh, if we're eat up with cancer, uh, amen, if we're uh, heart troubles, uh, if we don't have no lungs or no kidneys or no liver, uh, uh, thank God if we're still trusting Jesus. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, but Brother Larry, when it's preached, uh, uh, people don't want to hear it preached. Uh, uh, but bless God, when something's preached in the hearing of your ears, uh, uh, you're accounted to do something with it. Uh, if it's coming out of the Word of God. Uh, amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, uh, I tell you, people, when they get in the spirit of preaching, uh, uh, they preach things against their own belief. Uh, uh, but you can't help from it when you get in the spirit. Uh, uh, you got to preach the Word. Uh, amen. Be instant in season, out of season. Reprove. Uh, I rebuke and exhort it all on suffering and doctrine. Uh, uh, he said, for the time will come when they'll not heed sound doctrine, uh, uh, but they'll heed to themselves. Teachers have it each in ear. Don't tell me nothing that's going to mess up my playhouse. Don't tell me nothing that's going to cause me to have to have to tell my friends. Amen. Praise God. They might not want to hang around me. They might want to go off and leave me. Praise the Lord. But I'm going to follow Jesus. Praise the Lord. I'm going to follow him all the way through. And to follow him all the way through, I've got to follow him through this word. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because it is the life. Amen. It is in him is life. Praise the Lord. And you, you and me can have life. Glory to God. I ain't going to argue with the Bible. <laughs> People, they'll wear you out arguing with the word. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Why? Because that's what they've been raised to. Been raised in the traditions. The devil's crafty. Yeah, he planted a bunch of years ago for me. You ever thought about coming around? Amen. Praise the Lord. And I, I tell you what, the only way you can know God is through the Spirit. The only way you can please God is through the Spirit. When I try to preach like you, I can't please God. When I try to preach like somebody else, I can't please God. I've got to be my own person in God. Amen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever, whosoever, individual, personal, praise God. And when he told Peter about the curse of the fig tree, he said, have faith in God. For whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be thou removed, be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, shall have whatsoever he saith. Peter says, well, well, God won't give you once. Praise God. He said, when you stand praying, when you pray, the things you desire, believe that you're having, you receive them. Praise God. My desires just came from back when I started. Amen. When I was a sinner and when I got started, my desires came. I want the things of God. And then I want to feel His Holy Spirit. I, I get a little shaken when I can't feel the presence of God and feel Him moving inside of me because He said He's always there. i got to find out what's going on. What am I doing? Praise the Lord. Uh, that don't excite Him to be all puffed up inside of me. Praise the Lord. But without the Spirit, we're none of His. Amen. Praise the Lord. It don't matter how Mommy and Daddy done it. They've done gone on. Praise God. They went to their place. Amen. I love them dearly. They love the Lord. I know they love the Lord. That's the reason, Brother Larry, I don't say, uh, praise God, if you don't do everything just like I think, that you ain't going to heaven because it's up to him. He said it's up to him whether his master's uh, servant stands or whether he falls. Amen. Praise the Lord. Ain't you glad for that tonight? Praise God. I'm glad I serve a God that didn't tell me to tell everybody else what to do to get a hold of my calling and move my calling. When somebody says you ought to be doing this, I, well, thank you, but I'll listen to God. Amen. And if I ain't doing what I should be doing, thank God he'll tell me about it. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's the reason people ain't happy. Uh, they're trying to please man and not God. Uh, they're trying to do what man says and not what God says. Uh, and they don't know which one's right because they've never searched the scriptures. I uh, mean, uh, he said in them, you think you have eternal life, but they are they that testify me. Praise God. And he is. He is the great I am. Praise the Lord. He, he's, he's everything. Amen. He's all that you need. He's an ever-present help in the time of need. Praise God. And glory to God, he said this, and, and I, I cherish and take it to my heart. He said, Blessed are the man that walketh not in the council of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of the sinner, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But said his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law does he meditate day and night. And this is what he said when you do. He shall be like a tree planted by the river of waters, bringing forth fruit in his season, his leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Amen. I, I tell you, I rejoice in the morning. Why? Because I know that whatsoever I do down through that day is going to prosper. Amen. I know that somebody's going to come by my way 
But I'm going to get to talk to them about Jesus. I'm going to get to talk to them about the Word. And I ain't going to be a siding up with denominational beliefs and doctrines of men, but I'm going to talk the Word. Amen. Praise the Lord, and I'm glad for that. And I'm glad that Jesus, he said, he'll never leave me or save me. Ain't you glad for that? I can't understand why people can't understand that, that he said he'll never leave you or forsake you. But when I leave here and go to the West Ham of my house, uh, he's going with me. What are you going to do, Brother Larry? Amen. Praise the Lord. He's going to go up your holler, ain't he? Thank God he's big enough for everybody. Amen. Uh, amen. People need to get in the spirit and they can understand Scripture. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. He had to leave them when he walked here in the flesh. Yeah, he had to go over yonder. They'd follow him over yonder. Amen. Sometimes I think people like that. They'll go here and they'll go yonder. They think, well, he's over yonder. But then everything don't work out real good. No, it must be over yonder. Amen. But I tell you what, he's wherever you're at. And you got to let him be God in your life. Amen. Amen. Praise God. It's important. you got to ask yourself that. Amen. One day you're going to have to stand and face the Savior. I told a man today, I said, what's going to be like? Amen. You're saved. Shed his blood. Praise God. But you battled your body with pain. And he's going to say, I, I, I went by the whipping post. I took the stripes that you could have it. He said, well, people, they do things and cause them problems. And, and God makes them live with it. I said, uh-uh. He redeems thy life from destruction. Yes. Amen. I don't care what. Ca- I tell you, my body was in a riddle shape when I got saved. Praise God. Drinking alcohol. Living, staying up late, rough life. Mm-hmm. Praise God. But when he got a hold of me, he, he took care of everything. Mm-hmm. Amen. Praise God. And I just got a hold of him and started running with him. Yeah. I thought, man, that feels good. <laughs> it's got to be true. Praise the Lord. And, uh, they told me, they said, when you get old, they said, you'll slow down. Mm-hmm. Guess what? I'm old as they was then. <laughs> I ain't slowed down. I ain't acting like they are. I ain't acting like they do. Praise God. I refuse to. Praise God. And why can I do that? It's nothing in me but the Lord Jesus Christ. The Word of God. And, I, and uh, he says, grow in the grace and knowledge. Put on Christ. Make not provisions for the flesh. Amen. Praise God. We need to feel ourselves. We need to feel ourselves. Not have broken systems, but have them. Boy, that'll get a hold of it and get a hold of it. And praise the Lord and get the doubt out. Amen. Get the fear out. Praise the Lord and walk in it. Glory to God. I thank God for his grace and mercy. David said, the Lord is my shepherd. Guess what, David? The Lord is my shepherd. Amen. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green paths. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me into paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Every day that I go, glory to God, he's yeah. leading me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. His name's got to be exalted. That's the reason you can come through with the word and the power and demonstration, whether you're in church, whether you're in a store, in a garage, wherever you're at. But he leadeth me for his name's sake. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, he said, I shall fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with all my cup runs over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I'm going to tell you that I've been in church preaching, and goodness and mercy have been present and seen by some certain few. Amen. Who was he? Praise God, angelic beings, glory to God. Everybody didn't see him. They were some to testify of him. Praise God, are you bragging about it? No, but I tell you what, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel good to know that my Lord honors me in that fashion of glory to God that you can get in the spirit uh, and he'll love you enough to get his presence to let somebody see. Amen, praise God. And, and for whatever reason they needed to see, that it doesn't make good when they testified and told about it. I know I could feel a presence so over me, praise the Lord. He, he's just that good. He's just that good. But church, we got to do something. we got to do something, praise the Lord. And David said, praise you the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty action according to his excellent greatness. Praise him on the sound of the trumpet with a pausing harp with a tremble dance. Praise him with stringed instruments, loud sounding cymbals, high sounding cymbals. Let everything to have breath praise the Lord. Glory to God. He inhabits the praises of his people. Uh, we can sit on the seat and do nothing. Amen. And we can say we're rejoicing in our heart. But pretty soon you'll start winding down. Amen. Because he wants to be praised openly. He, he, wants, he wants people shouting. Amen. Praise the Lord. Shout with a voice of triumph. Amen. Praise God. He wants that. Amen. To get him into the service. If you ever thanks for the Lord, thanks for the Holy Spirit. If you haven't ever done that, you're missing out on something in your Christian life. 
Because when his presence gets right in the midst of the place, he'll dance with you. Yeah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Not a barnyard, nightclub dance, but a, uh, oh, I tell you, praise the Lord. I, and Brother Larry, I yearn for it. Glory to God. You've been with me in services. Glory to God. When the power of God was strong, yeah. the power of God was moving. Uh, but praise God, I'm going to tell you what. Two or three can still praise the Lord, exalt him, yeah. and he'll bless them and he'll move amongst them. But we won't have it. takes more. Amen. Somebody has to come. Amen. Them people that got prayed for and got touched, they had to step out and come. Yeah. You can't just go back and grab somebody and jerk them up unless the Lord says go. Go let them know. But praise the Lord. you got to invite. But if people don't take a hold and want to come, amen, if their heart's not in it, praise God, they won't get it. Right. Amen. Praise God. He's not a, he's a gentleman, all right? Yeah. Praise the Lord. He won't push nothing upon you. He won't make you serve him. But I'll tell you what, one day he'll make you wish you had it. Amen. Do you love him tonight? Amen. Praise the Lord. People talking about, I told man today, people talking about glory to God that he could come any minute. I said, you sure about that? I said, I'll tell you what, I believe people would be living a little bit closer if they thought he could come. You know what, if I thought he'd come before tonight, I probably wouldn't want to leave this house. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, I know that's strong contrary to people's doctrine. But I'll tell you what, people better study because they'll show, show themselves approved unto God. Amen. Praise the Lord. If people really believed he'd come, I believe we'd be living close. People said, well, Peter and, and all them, they sinned. I said, yeah, but after the day of Pentecost and the Holy Ghost filled them, sealed them, come upon them, I said, it was all about Jesus. Wow. Uh, they got they, they said they died. I said, they sure did. They got their life took for the word of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I don't read where them was sick. The apostles, amen. I heard where one was sick uh, for the work of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. And Paul had to leave you can get withered and beat down by your labor. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. They, that's a different type of thing. Praise the Lord. But all this other stuff that the devil's moved in. Amen. He, he's got people believing him more than they got people believing God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Do you love him tonight? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We ought to, ought to stay excited. Yeah. Why? Because he could come to us. Amen. Praise God. We don't know before we get out of the home. Praise God. He could come. One of us could leave. Amen. I read in the paper all the time about people younger than me passing on, leaving out of this world, going on to meet their maker, praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. And I tell you, it's a serious thing. Yes, it it's a serious thing because once you close your eyes and sleep, praise God, you, even if you go to heaven, you can't praise him no more here. You, you can't do nothing for him no more here. Praise the Lord, we need to do all we can, brother Larry. Amen. Praise the Lord, we need to pray for the sick. Sure do. We need to pray for the Saints of God, that they get wisdom of the word, that we could walk and be the Bible that people would read, that they could see Jesus in us, see the glory of God, see it revealed, praise the Lord, and, and, and glory to God. I'm excited. You're excited about the second come about when he does come. Praise God. You know what it's going to look like? John saw him on the all pavements. John said, clothes the garment down the foot, girded about the path with a golden girdle, set his head and his hair white like wool, as white as snow. Said his Feet were as fine brass that they burned in a furnace, and, and said his countenance was as the sun shining in his strength. And John said, When I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. And he laid his right hand upon me and said, Fear not, I'm he to live and was dead. You hold on to life forevermore. Somebody said today about we need to live at the foot of the cross. I said, You better forget the cross. Amen. You better forget the tomb. Praise God. He's sitting on the throne. Amen. Praise the Lord. He's already overcame. And because he lives, we can live also. Because he lives, we can live also. Praise the Lord. Paul said he was crucified with him. You and I need to be crucified with Christ. We need to love the Lord God, God with all your heart, soul, strength, and mind, and your neighbor as yourself. Now, right there's a big one. Oh, man, people can love their faith. They can say we love the Lord thy God with all our heart, soul, strength, and mind. But they kind of squinch on loving their neighbor as yourself. Amen. Praise God. But they go together. On these hands, all the law and prophets. Oh, we can try to keep this one and that one and that one and that one. But you, when you love the Lord, when you love your neighbor, but you've got to have the discernment and wisdom and not let people rub it in the nose and rub it in the ground. you got to know how to live your life and love your neighbor. Be good to those and do what the Lord would have you to do. And I'm going to tell you, church, greater is he is in us than he is in the world. I'm going to tell you what tonight. You, you praise him. And praise God, you can see he, he gets to move. He gets to move it in you. And I love it. I love it. I love to see God just get down to the presence. And praise God, people start growing in faith and wisdom and knowledge. 
to the Lord Jesus Christ and being conquerors, more than conquerors. Hallelujah. Amen. We're more than conquerors through him that loved us and gave himself for us. We have power over the enemy. Amen. We give the devil too much credit. We let him come to church and say he wrote her back. Or the devil done this to me today. Well, what would you do back? Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Did you rebuke him in the name of Jesus? Did you tell him where to go? Praise the Lord. Glory to God. We better get with it. This thing gets more real. The older I get, the more real it gets. Amen. I, I don't know. I've outlived a bunch of my friends that I went to school with. I've outlived a bunch of my family. I'm still living, praise the Lord. I'm talking to God about the situation. But I've got something to do. I can't just sit down and enjoy life and say, Lord, let me live a lot of years. Amen. I've got to stay far up for Jesus. Praise the Lord. Lord, because you know my heart and you know my desire. My desire is to preach your word. Amen. To worship, praise you, and to love you. Amen. Praise God. And I tell you what, that's what I want to do. I, I'd rather do that than I wouldn't do anything else. Somebody said, well, you stay at that garage a lot. I, I do a lot of preaching down there. <laughs> Amen. I get down there by myself. I, I got a Bible tapes, and I just plug them in. I, I just let the Word of God revolve. It runs out, and I'll flip it over, and let it revolve again. It turns out, and I'll flip it over, and I'll run it a few times, and I'll grab me another one. Amen. Praise the Lord. I tell you, He's good tonight, church. Amen. He's what you'll let Him be. Amen. In your life. But if you don't know about it, if you didn't know where Larry lives, uh, you'd have a hard time getting to Larry's unless you just stumbled on it. But you got to know something about the Word of God and know who God is and where He is. Yes, amen. He's coming back after people who have made their themselves ready. Yes. Wash their robes white in the blood of the Lamb. That's the thing, the big thing that the devil has got going in the church. Some believe in pre-trib. Some believe in post-trib. Some believe in mid-trib. Some believe in rapture at any time, any moment. Praise God. Some believe in this. Some believe in that. Praise God, we ought to believe in Jesus Christ, that he's coming back one day after people. He's coming back without sin and the salvation. But in the meantime, bless God, we're in his blessing, and we ought to be a living like children of God, holding our heads up, not in pride of life, but in the pride of Jesus Christ, that we're able to say that I'm crucified with him. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. I love him tonight. God said he would send down the fire, said he would send it down to Elijah, said he would set the altar on fire, didn't he say, didn't he say, well Elijah was a great man of God, tell me great God that he wanted abroad, no food in the land, no water to drink, tell me great God that he had strength, he got food from the ravens, and the birds, he got water from the brooks, so I've heard then Elijah went down into Egypt's land to tell them how long the valley would stand. God said he would send down the fire, said he would send it down to Elijah, said he would set the altar on fire, didn't he say, didn't he say. Well, Elijah said, stop, let me show you a man of God that you ought to know. I've heard from the master and I've got a request to build an altar and to have a contest. So he built an altar of many stones. Mighty men began to moan. They cried, Bell, send the fire, oh, Bell, send the fire. They cried, Bell, send the fire, send the fire from on high. From morning to evening, they did cry, trying to bring down the fire from on high. Then Elijah called on the bleeding lamb, the rose of Sharon, the God on high, Mary's baby, and the morning star struck the altar with a burning fire. God said he would send down the fire, said he would send it down to Elijah, said he would set the altar on fire, didn't he say, didn't he say. Now, <clears throat> read about the day Elijah gathered all the children of Israel up on Mount Carmel and Mount Carmel because the children wasn't really trusting in the true God. He said, we'll gather together and let them have the bullocks. We'll offer up a sacrifice. Let the God that answers by far be God. I used to hear people talk about putting fleeces out before the Lord. I don't hear that anymore. I used to hear people in the church out stand and say, Thank God I'm saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. I don't hear that anymore. I used to hear a lot of stuff, Brother Larry, I don't hear anymore in the church. God ain't changed. God ain't changed. We're the ones that's changing. We're the ones that's changing. If you want, a, if you want a, the gold, you got to go for it. Sister was talking about the gold tried in the fire. I tell you, I want to keep pushing, pushing, pushing. Because this thing's real and it's good. 
the deeper you get, the better it gets. And the more you come become acquainted with God's way and what all things are going on and what's happening, it makes you just more excited. Amen. To know that you're a child of the King. But I love y'all tonight. I thank God I was able to be with you. I, I know I wasn't here Sunday night, but it sounded like God works plan. God works things. We think sometimes, you know, we say, well, you would have been there. It sounds to me like it worked out like I, maybe I shouldn't be. You know what I mean? But praise the Lord, we worry too much about this or that. I thought about Larry saying this few number. I preached on Big Laurel when I was the fifth person. And preached just as hard and just as long as I would if a house had been full. Not because it was me, but because it was the Holy Spirit of God. Amen. He got in the house. And he stirred up things. So praise the Lord. I tell you what, church. If you're a child of God, and you've got his spirit living and dwelling in you, you got something. And that spirit gives you understanding of this right here. And it might take a while to get it. But all the promises of God are yea and in him amen. And when you count yourself worthy to be able to receive the promises of God, you'll start receiving. But most people count themselves unworthy. Most people say, I ain't no good, I ain't doing no good. I'd hate to think I wasn't doing no good if I had a Savior like Jesus Christ. i tell you why I ain't doing no good if I ain't. I ain't studying, I ain't meditating, I ain't praying, I ain't talking to my Lord. But he don't lie. He's standing, he says, come all you unto me, all you that labor and heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. He said, I'm meek and lowly in heart. You find rest in your soul. My daddy had his way going to church. My mommy had her going way going to church. But I got my way going to church. And I'm going to go. I'm gonna, I, I'm, it's not my way. It's his way. It wasn't their way. It's his way. But you've got something. Don't get sick, beat down, old, and can't get around to realize, man, I had something. Don't get down on your deathbed and realize, boy, I had something. Boy, in that church service, I could have shouted. I could have run. I could have jumped. I could have enjoyed my Jesus. I could have enjoyed this spirit. Don't let it all pass you by. Glory to God, you're in your youth. Praise the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. Lift him up. Magnify him. People run where the fire's at. If there ain't no fire, there ain't no people. The church of lives worth the drive. You gotta stay alive, you gotta stay alive in Jesus. Amen. People out there need something. They need to be able to come and feel. They, they need to be able to feel the Lord. They, and when they have a need, they need to be able, when you touch them and lay hands on them, they need to be able to feel the Lord. He needs to be in the present. Yes, we need to be able, able to operate in the nine spiritual gifts. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's for the body of Christ. We need to be ready, Brother Larry, whenever the Spirit at His will, when he, when he wants to do something in a gift, we ought to be ready to, hey, I'm ready, Lord, you can use me or, or somebody else, praise the Lord. Amen? we got to get stirred up in Jesus. Churches is dying. Amen. People, Christian people are getting draggy. Amen? It's not no fun no more. It's not no joy no more. Amen? It's a drag and a dull to have to go to church. Amen? Not for me, glory to God. I like to go to church. I have a problem when people tell me I'm saved, but I don't go to church. Why don't you go to church? Amen. I like to go, praise the Lord. Yes. Don't always get to, but I like to. Because I like to feel his presence. But I, I want to challenge it. We're supposed to be an exhorter. I want to challenge people that say they've got Jesus in them. I know what he can do if they got him in there. If he'll turn him loose. Amen. If thou could only believe, Jesus said. Yes. If, if only thou couldst believe us. All things. All things are possible to him that believeth. Yeah. Not, not one thing be withheld. When I got something ill in me, I used to say, Lord, help me. You know what? He'd do it. But now I can say, praise the Lord, hallelujah, it's living in me. Yes. And it'll live in you. And that's that life, that life that comes from above. Is everybody happy? Anybody. Everybody excited? Anybody, Anybody need anything? Anybody need anything? Anybody need prayer? Praise the Lord, I tell you. If you need prayer, you better get it. Only you and God know your life. Amen. I'm, I, he tells us to preach the word, be it in season out, people. Exhort. And that's what I like to do is exhort. But I'm going to tell you what, today and the time is coming that you better do it now. 
because the day and the time is coming you're going to be blessed if you can handle it. You might have to give your life for the gospel. It's already going on, on the, and it's already happening here, and they say they got ISIS in every state in this country. And, uh, you know, you got to be ready. You know what faith is? Faith is when somebody comes up and they say, to your God, Are you a Christian? Ah. Uh, you see how much of a Christian you are. Can you, can you just give it up there to Jesus? Better be able to. Better be able to. Because he said, if you deny me before men, he said, I'll deny you before the angels. My Father which is in heaven. That's what he's talking about. People just float over this stuff. Hey Amen. All rapture's coming. God's going to take us out of here. We ain't going to face that. We ain't better than those Christians over in that other country that we saw on TV lose their heads because of Christ. Have we got that kind of Christianity in us that we could do the same? Or would we want to fight back? I've got to keep myself in tune with him. Because in myself, I might want to fight back. So i got to stay tuned in with him. And I say praise the Lord. Hey Amen. It's you and Jesus. It's your life. If you want to dance, you want to do something, wherever you're at, do it. I seen a man down in North Carolina. I was going to a little convenience store at night, and this car pulled up and stopped, and this guy jumped out of the car, music a booming, boy, he got out there and cut the jig. He said, that's my song. Praise God, the church ought to be the same. They ought to be more exalted. Amen, when the singing's a singing, amen, they ought to, that's my song. Praise the Lord, I'm going to dance a little bit. I'm going to glorify God. Yeah, come on. Well, see, we, we say it, and I'm not down to nobody. I'm just trying to encourage people. You don't have to be ashamed in God's house. I had a boy told me one time he liked coming to Morning Star. He said, it's fun. You know why? Because I run and cut a shine. Amen. I said, you can have fun in church. Be saved, but you can have fun in church. Yeah. Praise the Lord in Jesus in the Spirit. And praise God, I'm going I'm to shut up, but I, it's hard to shut up talking about Jesus. About, about, about our Lord. We need, to, we need to lift one another up and exhort one another. We need to get a hold of it. Plow. Not look back. To keep plowing. I hear people talking about different things about making yourself righteous. You know, I told the fellow, I said, you better worry about this little member. That's who most people have trouble with. They might look to look, walk to walk, but when it comes to talking to talk, this little member. We got to get it under subjection. I love it. I love it. Praise the Lord. Because it works for me. Yeah. Amen. This gospel, when you preach, it's not just for them that's listening. Amen. You preach to yourself a lot. You get every message, plus a message that somebody else gives. Amen. Praise the Lord. I tell you, Jesus loves us. And uh, take your full joy in Him. Don't, don't live this life without the joy of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. I have people come into the garage all the time, living together, but they're Christians. Amen. Praise the Lord. And, you know, I get to tell them, you know, God's not pleased with that if you're a Christian. Amen. You're, you're supposed to be as one. Uh, people like the pleasures of the flesh rather than the pleasures of the spirit. Amen. But uh, we got to choose in this day. We got to choose in this day who we're going to serve. Take that one and study on it. Because that's a big one. Now, when I get up in the morning, I got to make a choice. Or when I open my eyes. Lord, it's my, come on, Jesus. Amen. I'm ready to you. When he's ready to come, I'm ready. But praise God, I'm going to enjoy this life with him. Whether by death or whether by life, I want us to glorify God. So God bless you. Thank you. And praise the Lord.